Okay, here we are with the new Army Painter wet palette. Well, new for me anyway. And uh, some new colours from Vallejo. And today I'm trying to rescue this guy. So I went a bit crazy on him yesterday. Um, yeah, he's a little bit too colourful, isn't he? So we'll see what we can do. Uh, that face is not going to be red, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so another D&D &D miniature. This is like a werewolf type hero. And this is the wet palette from yesterday. Now it's supposed to stay um, usable for 48 hours. So let's have a look and see um, if that's true. So this is 24 hours already and that looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's put this to the test. Um, I'll just grab one of my favourite brushes. So this is a miniature Finest Sable Series 7, Windsor and Newton. Actually telling a lie, that's not my favourite brush. My absolute favourite brush is this one. Oh no, hang on, sorry. There's a, there's a set of them. Where are they? Here it is, here it is. Is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, this is one of my favourites anyway. This is a Citadel standard brush from 2004. And as you can see, it's still in pretty good nick. And it's been used a lot. And I've got a fine detail one from 2004 as well. And I managed to keep them nice following the basic GW paint guide by Mike McVeigh from the 80s. Um, yeah, if you follow his painting guide, you'll probably never have to buy a brush again. Although there are better makes. Anyway, let's just let's test this paint. I'm going for some red. Yeah, and we've still got paint there. Definitely. Let me just try it out. I don't normally paint left-handed, but let's try. Actually, I'm going to swap. Let's go for green. That looks a little bit more promising. Yes, plenty of green there. <clears throat> yeah. So after 24 hours, I've still got a palette of fresh paint. That is fantastic. And considering yesterday was a hot day, um, just show you how it works. A little bit more. Obviously if I, I've not got a big brush here, so it's covering as much space as it can, but that's brilliant. Just to show you how it works, under here is the wet palette itself. And there's like a thin sheet. Let's see what they're called. Yeah, that thing underneath is called a hydro foam. That's the thing that needs to be kept moist or wet. Just a few millimeters of water for that. If you don't put enough water in or you put too much in, what you get is a flood which can cause the hydro foam to stain. So that's a bit of a shame. Luckily the box comes with two and 50 of these sheets. So that's your hydro foam and that's your paint palette there. And that sits on top to keep it moist. And then a little bento box effect. Wonderful design. And then the lid itself. And if you want to be extra savvy, there's a little band to keep it tight, air compressed, um, which fits in. I don't know if I can do this one handed, but I'll try. Oh, excuse the camera angle. Yeah, look at that. That is like a bento box, isn't it? Well, it's hard plastic. And I'm very impressed with that. It's going to save me a lot of paint. So now I've got to just save this guy. Thanks for watching.